Hey, this is Keith from Intech, and we're here to take a look at the Luna today. So Luna is a nice little teardrop, super lightweight, only about 1,800 pounds, uh, very towable by most vehicles, and gives you a lot of space for a teardrop. So one thing you'll notice different about the Luna right off the bat is going to be the front cap. Uh, this is going to use our tilt forward design. So as opposed to most teardrops where you're really angling this front cap back and limiting your inside space, you'll see that we bring our caps further forward out over the A-frame. When we jump to the inside, you're going to see the advantages of that as far as space. From the exterior, it gives you a great styling and look. You're also going to feature our three-ply laminated windshield. So this is actually just like the glass on your car. It's going to be three-ply lamination. Um, it's going to be able to handle rocks and chips, things coming up against it. Uh, but to protect it further, we do put a standard windshield cover. You'll see these snaps all the way around. That way you can have something there to block any debris from hitting the glass. Your whole front cap is all fiberglass as well. Uh, you're going to see a little storage compartment there in the front. And then as you come and look at the rest of the Luna, you're going to see fiberglass walls and, and ceiling all the way across. But what really sets an Intech apart is the construction. So let's take a closer look. So this is what's going to set an Intech apart from everything else out there. This is an all aluminum chassis that is built and welded together here at our factory. Also on top of that, we're going to have an aluminum cage also completely welded together and then welded down to your chassis. And what's so unique about that is the strength this provides compared to how most RVs are built. Typically what you would do is you would see a wall and a roof that is all separated and it ends up being all stapled or screwed together. Obviously not nearly as strong as a solid welded structure like you see here. The benefits are going to be as you're traveling down roads, whether they be rough and hitting bumps, as a unit's trying to twist free from itself, if it's screws and staples, you are going to start to see failure of joints. You're going to see some of your cabinetry not working quite as well because things are twisting and doors aren't closing as well. With an Intech, you have something that's built very strong from day one. All right, so back out here on the outside of the Luna, again, you're going to see the fiberglass walls hung to that uh, cage construction we were looking at. Um, this one is going to have the Rover package on it and Rover package is going to give you a few more uh, rugged looking items such as you're going to get a larger uh, tire on it with the black rims. It's going to be lifted by another two inches. You're going to have these little side step bars here. These are actually welded right into your frame. So this allows you to get up to your roof rack. The roof rack is a standard piece on the Rover package as well. These bars on the roof rack are pretty unique because they're adjustable. So you can loosen those bars, you can move them around the crossbars to wherever they need to be. Or if you have a garage height situation, because this unit does set just over seven foot with the roof rack pieces on, what you can do is you can actually flip those upside down and put them here on the back side of the unit. So now you can tuck this thing right into a garage. If you do our base package, uh, you'll then have the street tires, you'd have the standard decals, and some of these rover items wouldn't be on there. As we come down the side, you're going to have some large windows to see out from the interior. And then coming to the back, you're going to see this is going to be our kitchen area. So this rear hatch opens up here and gives you a great, huge interior kitchen. So I'm 6'2", I can still fully fit underneath this. I'm not having to duck at all. A lot of cook space, a lot of prep space up here. Great storage across the top. You put a little rail on here so that way when this is closed, Anything that's up in there is held in by the between the door and that back wall. Good little cubby for extra storage space there. This one is built as the standard kitchen model and it's just going to have a cabinet for storage right here. This is also set up for a microwave though. So if you were to look inside there you would see a plug and if a customer wanted to add it after the fact you just simply remove these cleats the microwave slips right in. Also across the back, you're going to have the farmhouse sink that we use on most of our products, nice and deep, very usable. This is plumbed into an eight and a half gallon fresh water tank. Uh, that is just cold water. There is no water heater on board. And then there's also no holding tank. So it's very simple to use. When this actually drains, it comes straight out the bottom. So you can just use a portable catch basin to catch your wastewater and then dispose of. Underneath the sink, this is where you're going to find your battery box and this is actually sunken down into the floor for space. You're also gonna find your battery switch located here, and then all your water pump and everything will be sealed up underneath the sink. All right, right next to the sink area, you're gonna see the refrigerator. 
And the Luna is going to come standard with a 12 volt Coleman thermal electric refrigerator. And what that means is it'll go 40 degrees below ambient temperature. But if you want something a little bit stronger, you can upgrade to the um, compressor fridge, which you see here on board. And this is a 45 quart fridge with a compressor. So no matter what the temperature is outside, you have settings across the back here. You set it to the temp you want, and you can go all the way down to freezing if you would like. The controls for the refrigerator are either on the fridge, if you get the fridge upgrade option, or if you have the thermal electric one, it's just a simple on off over here at our control center where you turn on the 12 volt fridge or you turn it off. Also over on this side, you'll have access to all your lights. So you got a main light that's coming from the overhead that's shining down into the kitchen right here. And then you also have an accent light that lights up across the back. And those look pretty neat when it gets a little bit darker outside. Also on the back end, you'll see we have our two inch receiver and that's rated at 175 pounds. So that'll work great for hauling bikes. Um, even some of your heavy bikes like electric bikes and heavier racks will often work with that weight rating right there. Final things to note here in the back, you'll see you do have two speakers coming off the back end. Um, this is actually a four speaker system. So two are on the inside, two are on the outside. It's going into a sound uh, stereo that has uh, two zones available. So you can select only play the music out here or only play the music inside, depending on what your preference is. Coming around to the side here, you're going to see where we hide your LP tank. So this is a five gallon tank sealed right into this compartment here by the kitchen. So nice and out of the way, five gallon, that's simply running the cooktop. Only thing that that LP is running on this particular unit. Also over on the side, you're gonna have your 30 amp shore cord. Here you'll see a little plug-in for a ZAMP. So if you wanna do a portable uh, solar panel kit, that's wired directly to your battery. You'll have a coax cable wired directly to your TV. So if a campground you're at offers cable, you can plug in and be set to go there. And then you'll have a vent for your battery box. So we always set these up to go with a lead acid, standard lead acid battery. So it's all vented. Um, as we're looking inside, I'll explain how, what to do if you want to change it over to a lithium. Water fills located right here. As I mentioned, it's a little eight and a half gallon tank. There is no water heater on board. So it'll just be whatever the temperature that you put into it is what will come out. Coming down the side, you'll have the same on this Rover package version like we talked about. You have these same side steps on this side that allow you to get up to the top. And then you'll see another door. So when we were on the other side, you saw a door. On this side, you have a door as well. You can get out on either side, which makes it great for once you're sleeping inside this camper. Let's take a look inside at what we got. All right, so we roll inside to the Luna. This is what sets it apart from any other teardrop. I mean, I am sitting up inside this unit, plenty of room. Um, I'm not limited just laying on the floor here. So with that tilt forward design that we talked about, we're now wide open with a big glass windshield. We're not claustrophobic in here. So even though it's a little teardrop, you get a rainy day, you can hang out inside this thing and be pretty comfortable. A few neat things on the front end. Obviously you see you've got these seats up here or places to set laptops or you know coffee maker, any items like that. They will have storage underneath them. Um, also across the front here, you'll see you're gonna have a roll shade. So this will come down to completely block out the sun. Then roll shades on both of your side windows as well. So you can keep this unit dark as you're sleeping really easily. A couple little reading lights up above. And then we saw the speakers on the outside. Here are the two speakers located on the inside of the camper. Another neat thing on the front end of this unit is the storage compartment. So when you order this unit standard, you wouldn't see this handle here. This would just be a lid. And then this is a ginormous storage compartment that goes all the way down to the floor all the way up to the front here. This one, however, is set up with a pretty unique option, and this is the uh, cassette toilet option. So I'm gonna move this piece of the futon here out of our way real quick. And then this simply lifts up, and you have a cassette toilet that runs off your eight and a half gallons of fresh water with an electric flush right here, right in the front end of this camper. So completely unique. If you're out, way outside of off the beaten path there, and you need a location uh, with a toilet, you've got it built in right into this little camper here. I'll show you on the front end how you empty your cassette here. So Luna also comes standard with two futons. Um, you see these mattresses here, they're set up so you can sit in them like this. You got a back section that can move around wherever you like it to. And then they also stretch out like you see here into your bed. So you've got even can use this to, uh, top piece as a headrest to go across. 
And when you put both of those out, you have a 60 by 80 bed in place. On the flooring, you're gonna see our Infinity Woven flooring that we use. So this is a PVC coated flooring used commonly in the marine industry because it's very resistant towards tears or stains because of that PVC coating. And if you do get it dirty and need to clean it up, you can pretty much just sweep it out. And if you get some real grime or something in there, you're pretty much just gonna use soapy water and scrub it free. So nice, really nice for camp and you're not worried about your floor getting stained. Okay, as we come across the back end here, you're gonna see your standard AC. That's an 8,000 BTU AC unit. Pretty neat, because it actually vents out the bottom of the camper, so you don't have any ventilation going off the side, and it's not forced up high, sticking out in your face at all. Uh, here you're gonna have your stereo system. So we've seen some speakers in the front, we've seen some speakers in the back. That's what's running the whole system. As I mentioned, you have multiple zones, so you can run either location. This will also run your TV sound. So when you turn on your TV, you can use those speakers to run that. And you'll see that you got a DVD player built in that is of course feeding directly to the TV. Next to that, you're gonna have your 35 amp converter. This is gonna be set up standard for lead acid batteries. So on the outside, we saw that vent into the lead acid box. Um, but you're gonna see it's got a switch on board where you can switch it over to lithiums. So if you wanted to run a lithium battery, you follow the instructions here switch it over and you're good to charge lithiums. Below that's just gonna be your LP detector. And then you're gonna see another one of the optional pieces on this unit and that is the fireplace. So fireplace is neat. I mean, it gives a cool effect with the lighting on it, um, but it does offer actual heat. So it's got a ceramic heater built in. It does have a thermostat on board that you can set. And it really in most conditions offers plenty of heat for this little camper here. Up across the top, you're gonna to have some good storage up here. Um, and then also some little cubby cabinets that you're gonna be able to store in. You'll see we use accent lights throughout. So you're gonna have your overhead dome lights, but then you're also gonna have some accent lighting up into these cubbies and then up across the front of the camper. And that can be really nice in the evenings when it's dark out and you don't want such intense light coming from the overheads. All right, over on this side then, you're gonna have your main switch panel. Um, you'll actually have light switches on both sides of the unit for the overheads, but here you're going to be able to control your exterior lights, some of your interior accent lights. Uh, directly above that, you're going to see the max air fan control. So this is a nice max air fan. It actually has a hood on it that's designed to run in the rain. So as it goes up, it will not allow water in. Um, also, this remote is set up to where you can try and control temperature with it. So it has a thermostat on it. Obviously it can only do so much with whatever the exterior temp is, but it'll either exhaust air out or bring air in, depending on what it's trying to do with the temperature for you. All right, so that was a quick look at our Luna with the Rover package. Thanks for tuning in.